guys so I'm here with my Philip Lean for Target haul and um, the line basically was released on Sunday it's now Saturday but I had to wait to get some of my stuff that I ordered online and I really wanted to show you guys the dress that I'm wearing because I don't I haven't seen anybody actually review this dress so that's one of the items that I'm really excited to show you guys so the first thing I am going to talk about is the dress that I'm wearing. This is the Philip Lean bodycon dress and it's in the, uh, the animal print. And the thing that I love about this dress is it's a bodycon dress, but it also has ruching on the sides. So if you kind of aren't comfortable wearing a bodycon dress, this dress is really great because it kind of hides the stomach area if you don't really want that area to be on display. Other things that I like about this dress would be the fact that it's actually like a cotton jersey material, but it's not like t-shirt material. It's almost exactly the same kind of material that most bodycon dresses are made out of, except without all of the additional spandex that hugs to your body. It's a really lightweight cotton material, well it's lightweight cotton, and so I wore it today and I was not too cold or too hot, I was just right in the middle and it looked great. The other thing that I like about this dress are the colors. When I first saw that he was using kind of like a mustard yellow, almost orange, with um, navy blue for the animal print, I was like wow that's really different. And um, now, with it finally being fall, this is like the first post that I'm doing after fall started. And I just feel like this dress is so pretty and it's perfect for fall. And I actually had uh, a mustard colored bow. I didn't even know I had this bow. But it actually went perfectly with the dress. And so this dress actually just reminds me of fall and I love it. And um, this dress was $29.99. They didn't have it in the store, so I had to order it online. And uh, let's see, a lot of people were saying that this dress runs big, so I ordered an extra small. To me, the extra small fits fine. Um, I don't really feel like it's baggy. Like I said, it has ruching across the front, so that's going to be a little baggy anyway. But I think the dress fits perfectly, and it has a crew neck. So. That's one thing that I also really like about this dress. So the next piece that I have is going to be this shirt. And this is kind of like a sheer polyester shirt and like a ginkgo kind of um, cherry blossom print. And I actually wound up getting this shirt just at the last minute. I wound up having to go to the local Target and then I went to another Target actually looking for the yellow bag because I was checking out buying one of the yellow bags and then it sold out while I was in the process of buying it and so they took it out of my cart. So I wound up going to two Targets looking for that bag which I couldn't find but I wound up finding this shirt which I never actually intended on buying but I wound up really liking it once I got it home and put it on. So the shirt has sheer sleeves right here and it has like a white stitching going up the front right here and the cherry blossom ginkgo print is kind of like patchy and blocky. But one of the things that I love about this shirt is you can wear it so many different ways. You can dress it up with a skirt or dress pants. You can wear it with jeans. Earlier this week I did a blog post where I was actually wearing it with some stretchy black pants and it kind of had like the feel of a tunic and it layers well because it's thin. So um, this shirt, where did my tags go? I believe this shirt was $34.99. I think so. Now the thing about my purchases is I had a 20% off coupon, so I got 20% off a lot of my items, and I wasn't even sure they were going to let me use the coupon, but they did, and so I was really happy about that because I saved some money. So, now I think that, yeah, $20, $34.99 for that shirt. So the next item that I have here is going to be 
this scarf and this scarf is very sheer it's very large you can do a lot with it um, not only can you tie it around your neck but you can also put it in your hair and you can layer it and I really like this scarf I like the print most of all I am a fan of this cheetah print or animal print and the vibrant colors the scarf was $19.99 and I like that it says 3.1 Philip Lean and it has the Target symbol right there. And another item that I wound up ordering online is going to be the animal print skirt. And this skirt is like a sheer fabric and um, it's got like ribbon, kind of like ribbon right here at the top. I really don't know how to explain this this little section right here so that it looks like ribbon to me but it has an exposed zipper on the back and then it has the double hooks right here now a lot of people were saying that this skirt runs small and I haven't tried a skirt on just yet I'm gonna try it on so that you guys can see how it looks but this skirt is actually I got it in a size 2 this is a full skirt and this type of skirt is supposed to be really popular for fall and it's fully lined on the inside and this skirt was $29.99 so finally I'm going to show you guys the purses that I got I know the purses were like pretty much the huge factor that everyone was you know like basically saying that this is going to be the biggest collab ever the most popular because of the purses I'm sure all of you already know that these purses look very similar to the purses that are already um, in Philip Lean's designer line. That's why they were expected to sell out so quickly. And I have a few pictures of the actual designer purses to compare to his bags that he had at Target. So this is going to be the first bag that I got from Target. And this is the black mini gusset. It has the exposed zipper right here on the side and you can zip this up or you can leave it unzipped. I like how it looks unzipped but that's how it looks zipped. This is how it looks unzipped and it comes with a long strap so you can wear it on your shoulder and it's an adjustable strap. The good thing about this strap is that you can also unhook it because I usually don't carry straps anyway and these gold metal parts are painted on. So um, that was one thing that I actually wish would have been a little different. I didn't like that that was painted on. On the zipper, it does say Philip Lean. And then it has this pouch right here in the front. This pouch is magnetic. You can't really fit a whole lot in there, but that's how that looks. Now, as far as how the inside of the bag goes, it does have a zipper opening. And it's a really, really small purse. This one was $34.99. And it has like one zipper pouch and one pouch to put your cell phone. Honestly, this bag, you couldn't really tell online how big it was going to be. And when I saw it in the store, I was like, okay, so this bag is really small. So I should probably only buy one. And most likely, I will be carrying this bag like as an accessory to an outfit not really an everyday bag just you know as an evening bag or an accessory so you really can't fit a lot in here so I can fit that in here and this and that's about it so that's about how big my wallet is and um, so you're probably gonna be able to fit your wallet your keys your phone and a lipstick and that's it but it's a really cute bag and I didn't think it was worth the money. I, did, I used the coupon so you know I got it cheaper but the leather, the faux leather on this bag actually looks a lot better than I think the gray look. So um, I do think the black looks a little bit more uh, sophisticated and more expensive looking bag than the gray or actually it's taupe, the taupe or the yellow. But um, I, I wound up only getting one black bag. So the next bag that I have is going to be the large taupe gusset. And the reason that I got the large taupe gusset was basically after I saw how small the gray, the black one was, 
I knew that I needed to get a larger one. And like I said, this is not leather. It's like a polyurethane material. And the taupe one is much shinier, which is why I said that I think the black one actually could pass for real leather, whereas this taupe one looks like, you know, more shiny, more man-made. And it has the same kind of, you know, front right here that opens. There is a magnetic closure and it zips up in the top. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. I think that this would make not only would it make just a good day bag, a good laptop bag, um, I could use this as a baby bag if I had a baby. Um, a travel bag, an overnight. This was one of the more expensive bags. This one was $54.99 and I was able to get 20% off of this bag also. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention about this bag is on Instagram, I saw a lot of women having their daughters carry this bag and I thought it was so cute. This is the perfect size bag if you want to give it to a little girl to carry around. It looks absolutely adorable. So the last item that I have here is going to be the satchel and this is in taupe. To me this color looks gray, it doesn't look taupe, but um, this is the satchel and it has the same magnetic closure in the front. The only thing that I don't like about this, besides the fact that it has a magnetic closure, well, that is the only thing that I don't like about it. Um, it doesn't stay closed. Whenever I was carrying it earlier tonight, when I went out to dinner, it kept opening and it was like kind of buckling right here at the top just because my wallet is so heavy. That's really the only thing that I have in here is my wallet and my cell phone. So I have a big wallet, but that's my wallet and then I have my cell phone. So this bag has the two zippers on the front. It looks exactly like the bag from his designer line with just, you know, minor difference. It has a pouch right here in the front that you can put stuff in if you want. It actually is kind of a big pouch now that I took the stuff out of there, right there. And that's how the inside looks, and the inside of this has two pouches, one for a cell phone, one for whatever else you want to put in there, and it also has a zipper pouch. So out of all the bags that I did buy, this one is my favorite. I just really like the, um, the, the satchel look of it, and oh, there was another thing about this bag that I didn't like. It's that the straps don't come off, because I like carrying it like this. So you have to put the straps on the inside and it's already a pretty small bag so that takes away from the amount of stuff that you can even fit on the inside. But that's how it looks with the straps on the inside. But this one is my favorite bag. I can't wait for the next Target collab and I will see you guys later.